Let's talk about why modern women say they don't need no man and who hate the idea of guys having their own lives and doing things their own way. Why do these women believe they can live their entire lives without men? Men who have built the infrastructures around them and men who have advanced science, technology, and human civilization. These are the same women who live off of divorce settlements and then marry other wealthier men to only leave them for the next one. The ability for males to make their own decisions should excite feminists who advocate gender equality. It's similar to a bunch of males that treat women with the same level of disdain that men are frequently shown by women. But regrettably, they opt for excellent results rather than exceptionally high accountability. The only way to ensure a high quality outcome is to acquire the heart and mentality of a man who works harder than they do and provides for them throughout his life. Projecting vulnerability gives women power because it encourages men to step up, get engaged, and take care of them. However, as women project power more and more, males will go their own way and seek out other motivations for living in addition to defending women. Why should we still be here if women don't require our protection? Women want men to remain by their side, take care of them, and listen to their issues but they also want men to believe that they are not dependent on them. With the promise of freedom from males, feminism has devastated the majority of Western women. Women need males more than they realize because they are unhappy at work and are turning into crazy, lonesome cat ladies, but they won't confess it as long as it is taboo to do so. In the future decades, as our culture gets more conservative, they will eventually come to recognize it. The fact that women feel entitled might be understandable from some aspects, but the fact that they feel too entitled, which means they feel entitled just because that's how it is, is the topic of discussion and debate here. And it is even more so because society has jumped on the woke feminist bandwagon that calls for equality in every aspect of life, and yet still continues to support women to feel entitled to everything a man does, earns, and produces is just perplexing, to say the least. I hope that women realize the hypocrisy with which they live, expecting everything to be taken care of on one hand, and then marching the streets with banners for equality on the other. One thing is for sure though, manipulation is the primary tool that modern women have and use against men. They're used to it since their teenage years and will continue to use it till their last breath. They will try to use your emotions against you to fulfill their wishes because, as we all know, they feel entitled. They will try to manipulate you into buying them gifts, into being okay with them seeing other people, into moving closer to where they work, and into believing in whatever they want you to believe. There's no end to it, and it frequently succeeds with weak men. They are primarily chasing one thing, and they will put up with abuse solely for the sake of that one thing, which we all know. Thus, they fall for the manipulative tactics of women, both intentionally and unknowingly. One thing is for sure though, and this is something I regularly say on these videos because it's just so important to understand. It's beyond me how women feel they can trample on society and men and believe the world still owes them love and respect. All of these women got a rude but necessary awakening to what real life is about and how you can't mess with other people just because you feel like it. These women got humbled because they completely deserved it. Another thing that's striking here is that these women don't even realize they're doing something wrong. They're so incredibly entitled that they think whatever they're doing is completely normal. Throughout their lives, men are supposed to do everything for women and literally dedicate their lives to providing for, protecting, and helping women. And you know what? Men do that with a lot of joy and it brings them a lot of satisfaction when they know they're being the providers. It gives them a solid purpose because they know they're doing justice to what the universe meant for them to do. They do it proudly because that's in their nature. I'm talking about high value men, not a simp who starts crying if he gets rejected by a girl. But the question is, why is it that women expect everything from a man, especially when all they can do now is talk about equality and how men have oppressed them and controlled them? It's quite true that modern women have become too entitled. As I said, women's entitlement is unwarranted and men really don't need to sugarcoat things for women anymore, 
because they've clearly got the wrong idea about their role in modern society. Men need to make sure to put a woman in her place if she makes any unwarranted or untrue claim based on her overly inflated ego and entitlement. Feminism has really made it impossible for women to grasp these ideas because it constantly bombards women with this thought that they need to be independent and that they don't need any men in their lives. Feminism uses popular culture such as movies, television series, documentaries, talk shows, the news, books, music, comic books, podcasts, social media, and social media influencers to perpetuate this thought that a woman who spends her prime years laboring in offices and building wealth are real women and that they're the women every other woman should follow the example of. What happens is that when these women reach the age of 40, they realize they're already past their biological clocks and will probably not be having children anymore. With this, they keep repeating the same mantra that they don't need any men in their lives, but as the years go by, they start to realize they really don't have any purpose in life, and the companies they've been laboring the way for don't really care about them because they can fire or lay off these women at any given time. The biggest example of this is the recent tech layoffs that we say in the United States, and then consequently the rest of the world. And so, it's only then, when they know they cannot go back in time and do this over again, they realize how they wasted away their lives solely concentrating on money, building wealth, investing, and chasing corporate ladders. They realize all the money they have now in their bank accounts, they don't even have anyone to spend that money on. They don't know what to do with their investment, except perhaps make more and earn more. They don't have any children to pass it on. They don't have any children to pass on their knowledge, wisdom, and all the things they learned in life. The only thing they did in their lives was live to make money, and sure, that's something they did. But then what? Thousands of other people do that as well. When those people die, they're forgotten in a matter of days and months. They don't even have anyone to visit their graves. They're literally forgotten. Even the companies they worked for all of their lives replace them within a month or two. Sure, they might have co-workers and friends, but all of them are busy living and making memories with their partners and children. So, it is absolutely crucial for modern women around the world to realize that life's not just about making money, generating wealth, starting businesses, and climbing the corporate ladder because women have the leverage of not doing any of that and still live the best lives with their partners who are happy to be providers and even happier when they have wives who give birth to beautiful children. And together, they raise their families. I think there's a reason people were happier back in the day. And I think that the reason was that people used to stick to certain roles in life and not get worked up on chasing things that they weren't meant to chase. There will come a time in a decade when having a man will be considered a luxury for women. Mark my words. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.